So let's think about our same pendulum in terms of velocity. And now let's think in terms of one complete cycle of the pendulum. So the pendulum starts up at the left, it goes through its motion all the way to the right, and it swings all the way back to the left again. So we're going to kind of call that the initial position of our pendulum. Over that cycle of the pendulum, what was the displacement? Well, you'll say it moved all the way to the right, but it moved all the way back again. It ended up at the same place. So it actually had a displacement of zero. Remember, it did travel some distance, but it had no displacement because it ended up back at the same place where it started. So put that zero into our velocity formula, and you'll find out that the average velocity is also zero. So this might seem a little counterintuitive. The pendulum is always moving, and yet it has an average velocity of zero. And that's because it's always moving back to the same spot. So average velocity has to take into account the entire trip. If we would look at the average velocity for only half of the pendulum swing, meaning so from all the way up on the left to all the way up on the right, then it would have some displacement and it would have some average velocity. But if you look at a full cycle all the way back, then it has an average velocity of zero because it has a displacement of zero. Let's put these concepts into the context of an example. I've grabbed the same example I used in the displacement video, except for I've changed the last few sentences. So you see the same rabbit in the same forest, down the same path, doing the same motion. But now I say the rabbit did all this in a mere five seconds, and we're wondering what is its average speed and what is its average velocity. So we're going to start directly with our formulas. Um, we, we can always go back and view the diagrams on the other video. So let's start with speed, which is distance divided by time. And we're also going to need to calculate velocity, which is displacement divided by time. So let's start with the speed. The distance that the rabbit traveled. Well, I'm just going to go and look back. We calculated that in the other notes. So the distance that we got was 12 meters. And the displacement that we got was 6 meters to the right. So we'll just use those. So our distance was 12 meters. And did this all in 5 seconds is the new information we're given here. So now you're quickly going to do 12 divided by 5 on your calculator. And that equals 2.4 meters per second. But note that we're only given one digit in all of our information here. So technically we only have one significant digit. So we would round this to 2 meters per second. Okay, how about the velocity? Well, the displacement of our rabbit from the other notes we said was 6 meters to the right. And now, I don't really want to put to the right in all my calculations, so I'm quickly going to jot up here, let right be positive. And now if I put 6 meters as a positive number, then I know I'm talking about the right. So it did 6 meters, it was displaced 6 meters in 5 seconds. So now we would have to do 6 divided by 5, and we should get an answer that's half as big as our other one, since our distance or displacement is half as big. So we get 1.2 meters per second. And again, round that off to one significant digit is about 1 meter per second. But now in our final answer, don't forget that we need to give it a direction again. So since this is a positive number, then it must mean to the right, since I had that defined. Technically, I did define it, so my answer could be complete without it. But just so I don't have any questions, I'm going to add it in there anyway on my final step. So again, I want you just to have a picture of the difference between speed and velocity. Remember that velocity would take into account the entire trip, but it kind of ignores everything in between. So it ignores the fact that this rabbit darted first to the left and then the right and then the left and then the right. It just imagines that the rabbit took five seconds to go from its starting position to its final ending position.